we just replaced your job with technology. <laughs> How does that, that feel? I think I should do one of those things where you're like, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Glad you could join us for the latest episode of Event 365, a bi-weekly video cast with the bits of info events businesses need to keep things relevant 365 days a year. Since this is our fifth episode, I'm sure I don't need to remind you that I am Rebecca Rutherford, director of Ungerbach Digital. This is my show. This is my graphical muse, Silent Ange. This. Come to me, my pet. <laughs> It's so nice. <laughs> nice. Today we're going to kick things off with a pop quiz. Don't worry, it's multiple choice. You ready? Here it goes. I'm going to gently guide you from heart palpitations into near coma. Is the average attention span of a human in 2016 roughly equivalent to that of A. Albert Einstein B. The average length of a TV commercial C. A goldfish D. A fork Hint, when in doubt Choose. <laughs> what is happening to that fork? <laughs> Why is that fork flipping me off? Oh, fork, fork, fork. Is that that eating utensil thing? Is that the one that you use instead of your hands? Yes, that's right. After hundreds of thousands of years on the planet, we humans have evolved to the point where we are less equipped to hold focus for a longer period of time than a goldfish. Want to see something even more depressing? Check out this stat. Research shows you have approximately 50 milliseconds to capture users' attention online. Now, you might think this spells doom for the ability to market your venue or event online, but that is not the case. The web is actually the perfect medium to cater to the 500 mile per hour tendencies of today's users. I don't stop drinking until, like, I can't stand it anymore. Every day, I get to this point where my body starts to go, Ooh. and that's usually around lunchtime. So then I move into lunch, then I eat my lunch, and then I wait for the exact moment when it's politically correct or socially appropriate to start drinking wine. It just means you have to be careful about how your website looks, how it behaves, and what it says in order to get your point across effectively. If you read our blog, which I know you do, which of course you do, this is my show! You probably expect us to lead by saying that this all begins and ends with great content. You'd be wrong, but only a little bit. Be quiet. Angie, she doesn't like noise. Content is important hugely important. But if you want to design a website that will stop people in their tracks, it's only one piece of the puzzle. No. <laughs> Understanding how people behave online and what motivates human behavior in general is another. Let us start there. Ever heard of the F pattern? The F pattern describes the way users read web pages. It's because I've only had coffee, only coffee all day. All I've had is coffee. I have not <laughs> had any food. I have not had anything else. All I've had is coffee and caffeine, mostly just coffee. <laughs> Mostly, a little, a little bit of coffee, and and that's it. Research has shown that people's eyes typically start off in the upper left-hand corner and move across and then down, across and then down again, before going a bit further down and fizzling out. Poof. Yeah. Loves herself some meth. <laughs> Which is the general shape of the letter F, hence the name. Knowing this, you want to make sure you prioritize content according to the way people's eye naturally flows across the page. Think links to registration or tickets, etc. The other day, I went walking in my neighborhood and I, for a second, thought that I wasn't wearing pants. Do you ever do that? No. Oh. Make sure this and other nonverbal cues like colors and images on your website match up with the mission or brand of your event or venue. Next thing to consider, simplicity. There's a reason everybody loves Apple.com and it truly has very little to do with the products, although they are great. Studies have shown that the more complex a website, the less appealing it is to visitors. Apple.com is the epitome of this design theory. Plentiful white space, clear and concise messaging, basic calls to action, less is more. Finally, we're bringing it back down to content town. Bringing it on down to content town. You already know it has to be clear, concise, and high quality, but at this point, so does everybody else. If you really want your content to stand out these days, you need to find a way to make it connect with your audience. The best way to do that, hit them in the feels. First off, if it works for your brand, keep the tone of your content upbeat. So therapeutic. The idea that positivity breeds positivity isn't just an overused self-help trope. It's based on actual science. So start things off on the right note with content that woke up on the right side of the bed. Man, I'm on today. Mm -hmm. Next, find a way to move your audience or help them see themselves in your content. 
the feely spot. It gets you here. It gets you right here. A commercial for A1. My brother and I used to always do that. It gets you here. It gets you right here. Do you remember that? They get you here. They get you right here. The best way to accomplish this is through good old storytelling. Instead of just describing your event or venue, offer up content that shows your users what attending or booking can do for them. For event organizers, this could be a story about how past events have helped previous attendees advance in their career or find greater job satisfaction. For venues, maybe it's year-over-year -year attendance numbers on a show that started somewhere else and grew after relocating to your space. I've read this one million times <laughs> today alone. Anything you can do to help users understand the true value of your event or venue is key. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that, yeah! That's it for this episode. Check in with us again in a few weeks for episode six. In the meantime, keep up with us on Twitter and LinkedIn and be sure to catch up with any previous episodes you might have missed on YouTube, except for I know you didn't because you love us. <laughs> That'll work. Like your double hangy ball.